The general idea behind the bicopter is relatively simple. You have a frame, two motors, the motor are well, can be tilted with the servos and this is more or less all. And there were, let's say, popular a few years ago, but since the modern quads took over, nobody, I think nobody really builds the bicopters. And on top of that, they are kind of shitty because how the pitch control is working like this, um, it's working thanks to the being the center of a truss above the center of the mass, so there is a, a lever created. And this... Uh, uh, never mind. I did not main that. Uh, I did not fly this yet. Have no idea how it behaves. What I did, I only did make some tests uh, holding this in my hand. So probably, maybe it will either more or less hold the hold the attitude inside of the ear. But really, I have no idea yet. I changed some tunes, so maybe. But I was more or less doing blind. And will it work? Who knows? Um, but okay, um, enough about the future, let's talk about the present. How it's built? Uh, the frame is 3D printed, it's 20 something centimeters long. There are two servos, two ESCs and two motors. The motors are counter, counter rotating, so the uh, differential torque between them is zero. So the yaw is only applied thanks to the differential movement of the motors. If this is in such a configuration, then this is rotating like this. And if this is in this configuration, then it's rotating like this. Roll, just like in the regular quadcopter, if this motor is spinning faster, then it goes this way. And if this motor is spinning faster, then this way. On the other hand, like I said, the pitch, the pitch is special because the pitch is uh, controlled thanks to the difference between the uh, center of pressure provided by the Mm, propellers and the center of mass, which is kind of um, kind of lowish here. If in theory, if both motors will tilt forward, then the whole thing should also move forward, um, like the avatar thingy, flying thingy, because the how the the thrust will be tilted, and in theory it should work. The problem is that um, the the forces, the the torques that are creating thanks to the symmetrically tilting both motors are rather small and I'm afraid that this will rather be, let's say, behaving like this in the air. What I have besides this, um, old motors or TSC, the servos are relatively brand new uh, 9 gram servos. I have Matek 405 something because I just had it. The FPV camera, the cheapest 8-channel D8 receiver clone from China and the VTX, and that's more or less all. <sighs> Will it fly? <sighs> I hope I can give you a presentation what this thing is doing in the air. So, um, I, oh, you see. Oh, you see. So, if I want to roll then you will not see the difference because the motors has to be spinning for the roll. In case of a pitch forward, then the both motors will be moving forward, pitch backwards like this, and the yaw movement will tilt one motor in one direction and the second one in the other. <sighs> Let's arm it. I'm, I'm, I'm firmly holding this in my hand. Let's arm it. So, ah, as you can see, it should more or less work in the air. I was just letting this go for a second and... But will it work? I will know tomorrow and I will show you in a few days after I will shoot a second part of this video, right? Right. Okay, and now let's go to the future after the maiden when I will be able to show you some materials, right? Preflight check. Okay. Uh, no, dobra. 
Będą nagrywasz? No, nie chcę, żeby wiesz, bo to podejrzewam, że będzie pierwszy i nagrywasz. Dobrze, dobrze. To pewnie będzie pierwszy i ostatni lot tak urządzenia. Ze zbliżenia czy bez? Tak, tak w średnim raczej kącie, wiesz? Bo tak zbliżenie na niego mnie absolutnie nie interesuje. Dobra, powinno być ok. Głośne to. Ale po. No dobra, uwaga. 3, 2, 1, start. O kurwa. Servo i. Dead. Dead servo. So, exactly like expected, this was more or less the last attempt to fly this thing. It was not better than the previous one. Maybe even worse. I don't have any more servos. So, yeah, no. <laughs>